Hello, thinkers. Welcome to episode eight of the Pondlings Podcast. I'm Josh, and joining me as always is my lovely wife, Mallory. Hi. Hello. What's up? <laughs> What's up? So for today, we're going to kind of go through Confucius's Analects. Never heard of them. Yeah. Not a lot of people have. It's Eastern philosophy. Mm-hmm. And well, before I do that, I kind of want to give a little bit of background info. So Confucius didn't write any of this. Um, like Socrates and Jesus, his followers wrote all of his teachings. Mm-hmm. And because of that, and since it has, you know, Eastern, like he's from Asia. Yeah. So the names, they're Asian names. And I have a difficult time pronouncing those. So throughout, I may substitute them with your own name, with my own name, or your name, or J-dog something. J Dog, M Dog, yeah, M Dog, yes, yes. <laughs> Josh for the other one. Um, and then we'll kind of just go from there. We'll talk about. There's 20 chapters in this, Yikes. but it's not a lot. They break it up into little sections. I really didn't read that much, but with the amount of time that we have to talk. I, we can't hit all 20, so I kind of highlighted the ones that I thought evoked the best discussions, and we'll just kind of go from there. So Perfect. Flip through here if you hear the pages turning, turning and speaking of the doors open, so you can probably hear the Our air conditioning. Our monstrously so, loud yeah. So entertain the folks at home while I close. Yeah, my goodness. Yes. Yeah, so. Our air conditioner has a mind of its own, and it's actually... I am... I'm, I'm pretty convinced. sure... There is a ghost or demon yeah, inside. Like I feel that. I believe that. Someone mm-hmm. was a Ghostbuster, and instead of having it yeah. on their back, they're mm-hmm. like, we can't. And that would explain the other things that are happening in our apartment, It too. would explain explain the creepy stain. Yeah. It's not the storm mm-hmm. that just happened on the roof. No. Not at all. It's, no. it's the, the scary. It's not the lead. It's not a leak in the lead. No, it's no. Just, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. But poltergeist aside, let's uh, move on to this. Smooth transition. Thank you. Uh, the next... Another dead person's thoughts. So, <laughs> I'm just going to flip through here. I want to find one that I like before yeah. I... Surprise me. Surprise you. Um, again, I apologize for the flipping. Okay, so here, here's a good one. Okay. So, <laughs> jo- I'm not going to say Josh. Uh, let's go with Michael. Michael's a good name. I like Michael. Mm-hmm. Michael said... It is not that I do not enjoy the master's way, and master in this concept is Confucius, but I do not have the strength to follow it. Confucius said, he who does not have the strength can always give up halfway, but you have given up before starting. Okay. Okay, that was a long, long one. That was a long one, yeah. So let me break it down. Break it down now. Um, Okay, so what they're saying is, by that person saying, I don't have the strength and not even like attempting. So let's break it out a little bit more and just say, okay. let's give it a task. So okay. let's say that I wanted to give a speech. Okay. And my, someone showed me the way to do it. Mm-hmm. All I need to do is get up and perform this task. And okay the Michael person Mm -hmm. is saying that he doesn't enjoy the way of doing, like how his teacher Confucius does it. Like, okay. So he wants to do it himself in a different mm, way. No, like let's say there's a a rule, like in public speaking, you're supposed to talk, right? That's That's, the whole thing. That's the whole thing. So like, let's say he just doesn't want to talk. He wants to go up there and just hand bone, his way to success. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> but you missed a beautiful, beautiful um, piece by Mallory. But um, Hand boning in this place. <laughs> hand boning in this place, yeah. Um, but I mean, and you can hand bone in public if that's what you're going for. But he specifically is doing it for s- speech. So, okay. and <laughs> Confucius then said, like, and this person says, I'm not, like, I don't have the skill to do it. I'm not going to, like, I'm scared to talk mm-hmm. in front of these people. I, I can't do it. And so Confucius is saying, well, anyone can, who does not have the strength, like let's say you really don't have the skill or the doing, you can give up halfway. Like you can 
give it your best shot. Give it your best shot, yeah. do what you can. And then if you find out, like, let's say you complete that first one, you're like, okay, this isn't for me. Yeah. I can't do this. But he's saying that this Michael guy, he's like, Michael, you haven't even done it yet. You haven't even tried. How do you yeah. know Yeah. that you can't do it if mm-hmm. you don't even. Yeah. I know, you know, that makes me think, you know, people, you know, look down on people who give up on things. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But if you really gave it your best shot, and you put, you gave it your all. There's honor in yeah. saying, you know, look, this isn't for me. I gave it my best, but I know when it's time to step, step yeah. away. And this is kind of like a fixed growth that. mindset we talked about yeah. mm-hmm. earlier. But but anyway, um, so yeah, it goes back to that fixed growth mindset. Yeah, we that, about we, last that week. we talked about last week. Yeah. So you know if you were fixed mindset, so Michael is fixed mindset, right? Or not. Yeah. yeah Michael, yeah, right? That's what I said. Yeah. So Michael it. in this scenario, in this analect, he's, he's in that fixed mindset. He's saying, I'm not going to attempt it. I know I can't do it, but I also think, you know, from my perspective, mm-hmm. that's probably coming from a place of fear. Yeah. And like, I get it. Failing is scary and mm-hmm. it's, it feels bad to fail. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like from my perspective, from my thinking, I can see why Michael would say I'm too scared to even try. Yeah. But you know what I believe and what I think the world needs to believe and society needs to believe, sorry, I'm going on a tangent here. Get on that soapbox. Huh? Get on that soapbox. Yeah, that's right. I'm not only going to stand on it, I'm going to dance on it. Wow. All right. Gonna boogie on and then you're it, gonna but hand bone on it. Hand bone on it, but no, I'm just saying. Like society, I feel like does, you know, says that it's bad to quit things and to to fail, but there's honor in that because at least you tried. Yeah, uh, and then, you know, you you never know, and it is in those failures that you learn, really. So they say, yeah. I believe that. Yeah, you yeah. Believe you, that? I mean, I believe that you learn one possible way of not doing something. And then as long as you don't, so you don't think you learn anything about yourself. Yeah. You can learn something about yourself in that process. But I also know that eventually like there's only so much, you may hit a wall and you know, you can't learn any more from it. If you're not willing to learn from that situation, you know what I'm saying? Like if you keep failing and decide, okay, and decide you're just okay. I'm just gonna fail. Yeah, or or and, you know, don't look at the reasons why you failed. Then so like you're not. Are you saying like what I'm saying? But you take it a step further into you live in that failure. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Basically, yeah. Yeah. But I can see that too. There's some yeah. kind of a happy medium. But yeah, Confucius basically said like you know you should at least try. Yeah. That was the Confucius says it, so I will do it. I was confused. <laughs> uh, so the next one is Is that where confused comes from? I don't know. I was wondering that too. I don't think so because he doesn't So talk listeners, about I'm talking to you. I have been talking to you, I guess. But figure out if there is a correlation between our word confused and Confucius. 10 points to already figure points. out. Gold star, A plus, pat on the back. So the next question is, or an, I guess the statement. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Confucius said, put me in the company of any two people at random. Okay. They will invariably have something to teach me. I can take their qualities as a model and their defects as a warning. That's smart. Yeah. And because- it just shows that everyone, no matter what background, no matter age, no matter, mm-hmm. you know, who you are, can te- you can learn from them. Yeah. Whether they're successful, even if you're, not. even if you're, you know, indirectly learning from them. Yeah. Cause I've had conversations with people. I really, I really can't stand, Yeah. you know, and I learn more about myself from those kind of people, like yeah. where my patient's threshold is and, you know, how I could hold myself better. Yeah. How I could speak better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. More and, reflection. Yeah. But like, even then, like, they could, just because someone 
may not be in higher regards in a certain area. Mm-hmm. You can, they probably excel in something that you don't and they can teach you that skill. It's kind of like the whole thing of put it like, let's say, let's compare a doctor and a janitor. A lot of people in society will be like, oh, the doctor is superior to the janitor. Mm-hmm. But that's not the case at all. Yeah. People have, you don't learn do you want to clean from... the bathroom that someone just pooped and did all this stuff on? Like, do, would you, would you want to clean that? I've done it. Don't I know. do it again. But someone has to, and someone has to do it. And like, they're just as important and they are just as intelligent. Right. Can be. Well, and you don't, this also comes, you, you shouldn't know, judge based on what the profession is either. True. Very true. But this also brings up the the point of intelligence because intelligence isn't just stuff that you learn from books and school and yeah. whatever. It's things that you learn through life, yeah. your life circumstances, your situations and things that are presented in front of you that you have to go through. Yeah. Um, and I feel like sometimes those speak louder than education itself. Right. You know? And that's um, what I like. I think, Everyone who is alive and, you know, doing living is yeah. intelligent. Is intelligent if they has were... something to offer the world and right. to teach the world. My favorite professors in college were, well, yeah, they were educated, but they were the ones who went through something, were vulnerable enough to share it and explain what they learned, you know? And then, so I felt like I was not only getting like an education through books, you know, your standard, whatever, but also through this person who experienced something along the lines of what we were learning about, you know? Um, but so sorry, that was probably like a tangent from what we were But basically, yeah, what I'm saying is like every person in this planet can teach you and ha- it is important. Like everyone is important and no matter and what they do, worth. no matter what, the, yeah, no, like you can't put one life above another per- you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like we all matter. We all we, deserve to have a yeah. good life. But, um, the next kind of thing that is the analect. analect. Yeah. So Confucius said is goodness out of reach. As soon as I long for goodness, goodness is at hand. Oh gosh! So this can one's you, more can you repeat that one? Yeah, for yeah. Me? So he says, Confucius. Okay. He says, "Is good, goodness out of reach?" So he's okay. asking, and then he furthers this with, "As soon as I long for goodness, goodness is at hand." Oh gosh. Um... That was like the shortest one, but the hardest one for me to wrap my mind around. So goodness, is he, is he talking about like, like holiness? In this circumstance, I think he's talking about morality. Okay. So just, let's say, just. yeah. Is it Being out a kind of hand? person, yeah. Is he saying like, is it out of his reach? Yes. So like, is it possible to even really be a kind yes. person? Yes. Is it possible to be a, a good hearted human? I feel like you you struggle with this sometimes, where you're like, you know what I mean? Uh, I might know what you mean. Could you so, further? Yeah, so, so, so I'll explain it. I'll explain it. So sometimes you're like, you know, you're going to doubt this and whatever, but yeah. like anybody who knows you knows that you are kind and you don't believe that you are kind. Mm. But like to me, you're the epitome or epitome. I'm just kidding. That's just Is that the word. No, that's uh-huh. just how it's spelled, and that's how I thought it was for the longest time. But it's a pity. I like that. Anyway, the tone sounds so nice. you know, to me, you're the kindest person I know, way kinder than me, and you don't. You sometimes are like, does kindness even exist, or is it something that we all kind of? Is it a facade yeah. that we yeah. all? You know, and I feel like you've we've had this conversation before. Yeah. Am I wrong? No, no, you're yeah. right. Like, and I. That's sweet of you to say. Thank you. But yeah, I don't. But that's kind of like what it reminds me of this analyze, yeah, that yeah. conversation that we've had about whether or not like human kindness is learned is, or genuine. Is learned or is it genuine? Is yeah. it a facade or is it? Am know, I kind to others for the, them? For them or, or am I for doing myself? it for myself? Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of like what it, what it, what it, 
makes me think of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically. Um, so that's kind of, and I think that's kind of what he, he means. Yeah. But he says, you know, once I think of goodness, once I, to, to me, this is how I comprehend mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Once I, I aim for goodness, then it's right there. Yeah. If you it. are striving to be good, mm-hmm. then because it's in your mind, like that is in because your mind. Because you're trying and that's what you you're setting what your you sights can. on. Yeah. Then you, you goodness comes. Yeah. Right. For the good. Yeah. But basic- I think we also need to stress that goodness and perfection are two very, very different things. Yeah. 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 You know, and he's not, you can be good and perfect. not be perfect. Yeah. Cause you're going to make, and I think this kind of goes with have, make bad decisions. the religion kind of side of things too. As far as like when I come the Christian thought or whatever, like we're not imperfect beings, but when we strive for goodness, that is when like, we're never going to be perfect, but when we strive for goodness, that is when like, I feel like God or whatever is most understanding, I guess, in a sense, yeah. like he's like, okay, I think trying. it also goes back to the last intellect. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, we could just throw our hands up and be like, well, I'm just doomed. I'm a crappy yeah, human yeah. being. I'm just a bad person. But, but it, it also, you can flip it. Like if you focus on evil intent, you're going to continue to do bad. You know what I'm saying? Like if you true. go like, oh, I'm just going to do this one thing and do this, you'll continue to do that. Mm-hmm. So you'll set yourself up to do that. In like sense. you wake up, I'm choosing evil today. I'm going to freaking kick some dirt in the kid's face today. <laughs> Please don't. Pop their balloon. I'm Gru. But yeah, so next one, Confucius says, learning is like a chase in which as you fail to catch up, you fear to lose what you have already gained. So learning is like a chase. Yeah, so you're... So you're you're running to learn. Like yeah, you're so you are actively knowledge. learning. Yes. Yeah. You're chasing knowledge. So running is like a chase. What's the rest of it? So as you fail to catch up, okay, because there will always be more, more to learn. To learn. Like you will I never said, fully know humans, everything. We're never going to know everything. Yeah, but this blows my mind too, Mallory. I was thinking about this. This aside, okay. I apologize, but like all knowledge that exists in the world right now, humanity created it. But not just one. Not just one human. That's what I'm saying. All, all of humanity in central created it. Mm-hmm. And we know that whatever we create is not perfect no. yet. And that's how like certain thing, like, there's a p- point in time where we believed the sun revolved around the earth. Yeah. But we know it doesn't. That's true. And the earth was flat. But yeah. Um, some people, some people still believe that. What? Yeah. They're called flat earthers. But anyway, yeah. well, if you're a hashtag flat earther yeah. out there, no judgment, you can believe whatever you want. Yeah, you can, but, Yep, you can. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Just in case there are flat earthers that I am friends with. And... Okay. But, uh, yeah, like, I, I don't think it's flat. It's around. Well, not perfect. It's that makes me happy. Irreg- <laughs> irregular. <laughs> but anyway, um, basically, yeah, so you'll never know everything. So because you're continuing to learn, mm-hmm. and the last bit is you fear to lose what you have already gained, so what you've already learned. So there's things I've learned in my past, and I do worry about this. Oh, I worry about it too. All the time. I'm like, I, I don't remember this. Yeah. And so I, I constantly have to like keep the knowledge of the past stuff, but then try and make space for my other. And then I've hit that point. My brain will no longer, I'm actually You're losing, yeah. losing you brain set. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's deteriorating already. Yup. Getting dumber and dumber by the second. I wouldn't say dumber. You're right. You're right. That was bad. It's not You're as... You're losing knowledge, I guess. Nah, yeah, like it's or I guess maybe it's more like stuff. you're losing. You're losing. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Synapses are what I'm thinking of, like the yeah. actual like brain parts of See, your it's body. It's happening already. But um, yeah, it's just crazy. Losing connections. Connections. Maybe that's what yeah, I was yeah, 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 yeah. The connections. It's slower like fire. The fire. Like, yeah. Of, yeah. Remember the, fluid versus. Crystallized learning yes. or whatever. Yes, crystallized that's learning is when you're, when you're older, your brain crystallizes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was trying to think of. On. See, it's happening already because I learned that, Josh. Oh, you're okay. It's happening. It's happening. 
So, oh, it's 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 all good. Yeah, it's good? bouncing. Yeah. No, I meant like time wise, we're good. We we, we got, got we got time. enough we got time, time for, for one, one more. more. You welcome. She, she was worried. I was worried. I wanted to be able to complete a discussion. Yeah. Well, we it is getting kind of close to the end. I'll yeah. I'll leave that. We'll leave it with that. So if you'd like to know more, there's or, plenty more in it. Or we've never talked about this, but I would be open to it if you want to have a discussion with us for one of our podcasts. Yeah, yeah, you, that yeah. would be fun. Sure, yeah. Hit us up. Let us know if you'd like to join. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and if you want us to. Know, if you want to know more of Confucius mm-hmm. thoughts, there's plenty more to dissect. Mm-hmm. We kind of crash coursed. The book's definitely few. not as hefty as I thought it was. Well, be. that and like I'll even show you listeners can't see this, but uh, I'll show Mallory how much the actual analytic part is. So this chunk right here that I'm holding, yeah. that's the whole book. Oh, the rest is this other people's Light translation. White reading, and it's then like it's like broken down and the the just some beach reading (laughs) but yeah that's all we have for today well well, before we leave you probably noticed there's outro and our intro and outro music yeah matt ludwig shout out to shout out him and happy father's day yeah the best dad in the world hashtag my dad's pretty great too (laughs) um and i'm sure your dad's dads aren't there so so take that but for real, in all serious, any dads listening, happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. And, um, but yeah, show Matt Ludwig some love. Yeah. Let him know how good, it's awesome. Like, it's yeah. so good. And I and feel bad. if you want to check out his other work, head over to this, his SoundCloud. We'll have yeah. that in the, the link below. Yeah, and if for some reason it doesn't link to it, it, it SoundCloud is just Matt Ludwig. Yeah. All one word. Check him out. Yeah, it's real good. But that's it. That's all we have. Yeah. So I hope you have a great rest of your week. Yeah. Uh, and always will never stop pondering. Yeah, Confucius would say that too. He would say that probably. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.